हेलो गुड इवनिंग आई डोंट नो ये क्या हेलो गुड इवनिंग लेट्स जस्ट वेट फॉर सम टाइम फॉर पीपल टू जॉइन इन वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द आई एफ ए हैंडबुक विच दे हैव रिलीज रिसेंटली ऑलमोस्ट एंटायरली एवरी थिंग इज सेम देर इज no difference in the pattern of examination um few key points that we will uh, discuss is that uh, they will be again uh, sharing with us the link through which uh, the online exam link through which we can go and do the equipment check that will be done uh, approximately uh, 15 days before the exam so we will uh, have to first log in check everything whether our information is correct or not and then we'll have to do the upload check download check and if you are appearing for any cncs papers then these needs to be done for uh, paper a and paper b separately um am i audible to all of you just those who are attending can give me a thumbs up maybe Yes. Those who are attending um can just write to yes or let me know if I'm audible or not. All right. So um these are the basic uh, things a uh, few other things that we'll have to keep in mind is that uh, now some basic questions which students generally have i will quickly answer them so from excel to word we can copy paste so if you are doing any kind of working in your excel you can copy paste it in word but just that make sure that you uh, so show sufficient uh, level of you know steps and everything needs to be there um again if you um um another thing is that there not there should not be any linking between any files don't copy paste directly from uh, your um, co reading or material you need to give referencing these are basic things advise all the other okay now um you can take ms excel and ms word so ms office of 2013 or any above uh the version of 2013 is acceptable so any version released after 2013 and also 2013 can be used uh you cannot use dictation as we have already mentioned you can use a equ uh, equation editor you can only use uh, notations they have given some basic notations as well that they always do in the handbook i will be attaching the link of the handbook in the comment section or uh, in the description um below uh also keep few emails so they have few emails in the handbook mentioned um on page 13 so please make sure you have those emails handy if you have any issues during the time of your exam you can quickly email it to them there um you will be receiving some paper b materials uh two weeks before the examination of cs1 and cs2 that you generally get the data sets and all that so you have to keep it ready um 
they also give you one number so make sure you have that number ready with you plus double four zero one eight six five two six eight eight seven three this is there on page 15 so you need to keep it ready for example if you face any kind of issue while uploading or anything you can uh, directly contact them now make sure that they give you three hours 20 minutes now these three hours 20 minutes includes the uh, uh, downloading time which is downloading of your question paper so once you download your question paper uh, you your examination basically starts and in entire three hours 20 minutes you are writing in your word file or whatever and then after that you actually um, you know upload your answer scripts now for uploading they give you additional half an hour but what i generally prefer uh, doing and that is what i suggest students as well is that please um use don't use don't depend on that entire 30 minutes what you need to do is in those three hours 20 minutes that you get please save your work and close your file two three minutes before i generally say do it five minutes before only because see generally what happens is that um if you feel ki agar aapka exam let's suppose if it's ending at 5 20 p.m you are waiting for the very last moment to save it and close it and everything don't do that please just you know five minutes before your time gets over try saving your work because i have seen students losing a lot of work so uh, keep on saving the work in every 10 minutes every 15 minutes maybe after writing each uh, answers part every answer part you can do that also make sure the auto save feature is disabled because in that case your timestamp may change now there is something called as timestamp if your exam starts at 1 pm exact your word file should have been created after that and if your exam let's suppose ends at 4 uh, 20 pm then your last modified time should not cross that particular point of time even if it's one second above you will get a mail from IFO saying that uh, these are the discrepancies in your paper your timestamp is not matching and they may not check your paper so please don't do these kind of things uh, it's very important that you keep this in mind um, also they will give you a link 20 15 20 days before your exam uh, that is your examination link so you go over there you um, create your account update your password given your phone number you will receive an uh, otp on that particular phone number which you need to and make sure that phone number that you give is there on the ifoa login so when you uh, login into your ifoa uh, your phone number over there should match to the phone number you will be putting on the online platform online examination platform so make sure that is matching and that's how you log in once you log in all the papers that you are appearing for will be shown over there so you can quickly uh, click on the view exam for example if i'm appearing for cs1 then cs1a and cs1b both will be visible you have to click on equipment uh, view exam and then there will be an equipment check on the top left top right sorry so once you do the equipment check which is the upload check download check and also preview check so what happens you can download the pdf the uh, exam file then there is something called as a preview check wherein you can preview your answer script and uh, it will be a basic check and obviously the upload check wherein you can upload a word file make sure the word file is not a blank word file it contains mm -hmm. some data you can just write your name or maybe your ar and whatever and you can upload that all these things are done for you to get accustomed to the platform uh, when you download your question paper specifically for cm paper b cmcs paper b cp2 these papers are in the form of a zip file so when you download it's downloaded in a form of a zip file which contains your question paper and it contains an excel file so please make sure that you unzip your excel before starting because see if you don't unzip your excel before starting your work you will not be able to save your work and then you are you are losing your entire work so this is something which i have seen very few students have faced this problem but they have even in spite of telling them continuously you first have to unzip it and then you have to start working on your excel so make sure specifically all the cm1 cm2 C, cp2 students who have excel uh, in their exam you unzip your excel so they give you a question spreadsheet you have to do all the workings over there change the name of the file and then submit so the name of the file should be your arn 
सपोज योर ए आर एन वॉट एवर अंडर स्कोर सी एम वन पेपर बी दैट्स इट यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट एप्रिल If you don't want to, it's fine. It's completely fine. And your A R N is the main thing, and the name of the paper C M one B. You need to save it and upload it in that way. So please make sure you unzip it. This is a very, very, very important thing that you need to keep in mind. Right. So this is uh what they do in case of exams where you need to upload multiple files like for C P two. Uh, so when you are clicking on the upload option. um there you can select multiple files and upload you cannot up, you will not be uploading this files one by one it is basically uploading all the files together right so this is only i think for cp2 there is no other exam which will have multiple files you might get multiple files in cm2 C, cm1 if they give multiple spreadsheets for different questions but generally nowadays they are not doing that All right. Make sure you are sure about the start of exam time. Indian IST, Indian Standard Time. We are four and a half hours ahead of UK time during that exam period point of time. So, if for example your cohort is eight AM UK time, then in case of India you are nine, ten, eleven, twelve thirty will be your start exam time. So we are four and a half hours. ahead of them so just add whatever your time is just add four and a half hours to it right during the exam point of time uh make sure you're saving your work extremely important if you are losing it there is no other way that uh you know they will uh give you any benefit of doubt or anything now again um your arn cm1b that's it don't need to mention anything else i uh what generally do is just you know If my exam is ending at five hours thirty minutes, just five minutes before that, I start saving my work and I start uploading. This is what I have done for all the exams I've appeared online. This is something which I am very uh, scared about, and this is something I also tell students to please don't cross. क्या हो जाएगा अगर आप पांच extra minute लिखोगे? Nothing will happen. Uh, why to take that headache, right? So this is something which you have to again uh, keep in mind. I have given. Uh, so manish this is not uh, for iii this is for ifo this is different in case of iii they don't have this but in case of ifo we have it in the form of a zip file for cm1 paper b cm2 paper b and for cp2 generally these three papers have a zip file you can also expect cp3 having or any other paper but why uh, specifically i have taken these papers name is that you have an excel file that you maintain you need to first Unzip the Excel, uh, zip file, uh, the Excel file. Start working on it and continuously save it. Also remember where you are unzipping it. Whether it's in the round notes folder or it's in the desktop, wherever you just have to keep that in mind. Once you download your exam paper, then you need to create your answer script, which is your Word file. So you can either do it on your desktop documents wherever you are comfortable. And the moment you create your Word file, make sure you rename it as your E R N C M N paper A or C M N A. Anything, both are fine. And just rename it and then start working. After after each step or after sorry each I will say question or part of the question. For example, if question one has three parts, part one, two, three. After each part. Keep on pressing on Control S for saving your work. Extremely important. Okay, uh, there is no other new thing which has come up in this particular update. Everything is same. Um, once you click on the upload option, you will get a confirmation receipt on the screen, and you will also get a mail that uh, you can uh, view your exam is submitted. This is the file size this is the time stamp and everything you will be getting over there so uh, make sure you keep, uh, maintain a proper checklist before the exam two weeks before the exam when i4 is giving you a proper you know examination link and everything make sure you have a proper name number address email id correctly placed in your ifo login so uh, you can log in to your ifo by putting in your username and your password the new platform which is there and make sure all your personal details are correct specifically your email and phone number 
then you receive an email from IFOA. You have to click on that link. That's your examination platform. You have to log in by using your uh, ARN password and uh, you have to give your number then an OTP comes and all that and do the equipment check. These things you have to keep in mind very important and then on the day of the exam please make sure that you are checking the start and end time properly keeping that in mind keeping a maybe timer or a or you know alarm or whatever ready that you understand that, okay it's 3 hours 20 minutes done I need to submit my paper or maybe at 3 hours uh, 15 minutes or 10 minutes itself you have your alarm ready because then you will know that now it's the time to have to save and have to start submitting my work that's again very important make sure you understand referencing uh, we have explained referencing uh, in order to give referencing you just have to um, for example if you are referring to a co-reading or something like that then you can just write uh, cm1 uh, cmp or uh, core material pack uh, core material whatever and then the unit which is your chapter number unit number section and page number that's how you give the for example cm1 core reading unit 3 uh, section 4 page whatsoever whatever the page number is that's how you give the referencing you cannot do referencing from past papers you cannot do referencing from your handwritten notes right you cannot write from notes you need to properly give the referencing Please don't use internet. Also, chat GPD, any kind of AI AI tools is not um, taken valid in your exam. Whatever you are doing from there, they will understand that, okay, you have copy pasted your answer from chat GPD and again, you will get a plagiarism mail. So don't do these kind of things as well. Uh, yeah, so these are the only things which are there. There is no other... Um, extra thing that they have given in this particular handbook they have not quite also mentioned about plagiarism a lot in this particular handbook they usually did in the past ones but um yes so if you all have any questions you all can quickly paste that in the chat box below i will be quickly answering that and yeah that will be the session okay so i have few other questions uh, Manish, I, I have not, has not released any handbook till yet, but they might release it very soon. They have released it in past when they had online examinations earlier, but for this term, they haven't released any. Um, you cannot use autosave with he, as I mentioned at the start of the session, please disable the autosave, uh, autosave feature while I, why I tell you, because, um, you know, they also mention it to be very safe. Your time stamp may not change. What generally, and also one more thing, don't open your answer script after closing it. Once you have submitted, then it's fine. But before that, please don't do it. Please don't open it because it changes the last modified time. Once you have submitted, then you do whatever you want to. Right? That's another thing. But uh, yeah, don't have auto save feature on because it might so happen that your timestamp might increase or something. So don't, don't take that chance. Instead, uh, I will suggest keep saving your work, right? It's not a very big deal. You are also appearing for mocks and everything. So you know that. Um, all right. So I'll just quickly, Chirag, also explain you what you all can do for these last two, three weeks that you have with you. What I would have done in my exam is that I I revised all the uh, everything that I have studied, whether it's material, past paper question and answer, X assignments, Y assignments, um, my class notes, uh, everything I uh, would have revised for these few weeks questions which i have marked as difficult i would have gone through those and since it's a typing paper so i would have continuously practiced typing every day at least for three hours because i need to sit down and write my exam for three hours 20 minutes so i need to have that habit of at least typing for maybe if not your every day sitting for three hours 20 minutes to type but at least two hours sit and type that's very very important so yes uh, these are the basic uh, things uh, that you can 
keep in mind i don't think anything else is there the phone number which i mentioned which is on page 14 of the handbook keep that with you and obviously you need a uh, Interna international international calling uh, a dis uh, it should not be disabled you should have proper uh, international calling package on your phone to call them if there is any kind of situation but as a situation arise hona hi nahi chahiye agar aapne equipment check kara hai and aap properly 5 minutes pehle hi ban kar de rahe ho apna paper and you have started submitting your paper so this should not happen if you are um taking proper care right at least touch wood for me it never happened in my online exam i will give my exam how does it matter i mean in whatever slot you give it does not matter uh you have to give it independently um you have to sit lock yourself in the room and you have to give it independently please don't use any bad uh company or whatever you say don't use any other ways of appearing for your exam it should be very honest and it should be properly everything should be fair from your side because trust me uh, any wrong ways you use it you will be somehow getting caught so please be very honest to yourself and please appear for the exam very nicely appear for as many mocks as you can right now you still have a lot of time and try to appear also please keep your word file very neat so you can every in every your every answer can start from a fresh page every uh, question can start from a fresh page keep on saving your work very important and uh, make sure you show all your workings properly proper formulas proper um, working is done if you are you know copy pasting any table from excel to word make sure you properly show the workings profit testing or whatever how the columns are calculated how the rows are calculated and everything is shown very nicely uh yes chirag we can use equation editor i have mentioned that at the start only um few things for paper b or exam timing is 1 hour 50 minutes and cp3 students cp3 students your exam timing is 3 hours 5 minutes not 3 hours 20 minutes so make sure you have your exam typings properly you read it and you keep it in mind very very important right um they haven't uh, mentioned anything further almost everything is same as before and i've covered everything that you need to keep in mind okay So yes that's it I don't think we have any questions more do we have yeah uh how to unzip the file vedanshi um vedanshi we have covered that in our classes but if you are not able if you are not taking classes from us then when you download the zip file or if you have a zip file you just have to uh, right click on it on the icon of zip file and you get an option for extract all it will ask you where you need to extract your files just click on it and your files are extracted or then you open the zip folder on top you will see extract all feature and that you just click on that extract all and all your files will be extracted once your files are extracted and you have your excel file extracted please make sure you work on the extracted uh, files only you are not working on the files which is on your zip file or within your zip folder that's it i don't think we have any questions so we can end the session now ma'am uh can we create no uh, shiny i have covered this at the start please listen to my session i will be uploading it after this so you can just quickly listen to the first part they have a proper time stamp if your exam is starting at 1 pm then you have to first what i would i would do is i would download the question paper and then i would go and create a word file because if you are creating your word file before 1 pm then surely your time stamp is wrong and they will be questioning you on that so please don't do it and we are 4 hours 30 minutes ahead during the exam time so if it's 8:30 slot then it will be uh, 9:30 10:30 11 12 1 
वन पी एम विल बी योर स्लॉट इफ योर स्लॉट इज एट थर्टी यू के टाइम देन इट इज वन पी एम फॉर आस इंडियन टाइम ओके डू वी नीड टू डिफाइन ऑल नोटेशन डेफिनेट नो नॉट नोटेशन वाई विल यू डिफाइनिंग द नोटेशन पूजा यू विल डोंट हैव टू डिफाइन द नोटेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम यूजिंग एनविटी सो ए इफ आई एम यूजिंग ए ड्यू टेन सो ए आई एम राइटिंग ड्यू डी यू ई कोलन टेन सो दैट्स सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी आई डोंट हैव टू डिफाइन इट At एट थर्टी एट वन पी एम एक्जैक्ट यू विल गेट द क्वेश्चन पेपर यू विल नॉट एनी वेज गेट योर क्वेश्चन पेपर बिफोर दैट सो यू विल गेट योर क्वेश्चन पेपर एट एक्जैक्ट वन पी एम डाउनलोड इट देन क्रिएट अ वर्ड फाइल राइट देर इज नथिंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट प्लेजरिज्म तुषार वी हैव कवर्ड इट इन आर क्लासेस एज वेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर डिरेक्टली टेकिंग एनी थिंग फ्रॉम द मटीरियल फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम कमेंट्स uh there are some lines that we use which is directly from your material then you can just simply mention um referencing or referred cm1 co reading unit 3 section 4 uh page number so and so so just mention that one line you don't have to um uh, like do it for every question every part but wherein you take exactly maybe a formula which you are writing which is directly taken from the material then definitely you have to use referencing in case of theory papers uh, wherein we have definitions or we you are uh, for example functions of a central bank in that case you would mention the functions names of the functions and then you explain it so that's a clear cut very simple straight forward answer then in that case definitely you need to do referencing but questions like which are very practical oriented not directly referring to the proper theory parts but somehow you feel you have taken points from your material you can just quickly give a referencing at the end of your answer right um that's there i have uh, I don't think do we have anything else Yeah so I've taken all the questions Ha so uh, Manish there is no unzip zip thing in your IA then it's fine yeah it's not there in IA Manish equation editor is what we use uh, to write mathematical notations on MS Word. Okay. Any other questions do we have? Okay, I don't don't think anything else we have, so we can end the session today. Uh, if you all have any further questions, you can put down in the comment below. We can I will be surely answering them all. Thank you so much.